entertaining digital education. So, so they can continue to, yes. uh, to grow. So, so how can you link this, uh, you know, innovation to growth? How yes. we can use innovation to drive growth? You yeah. know, people talk a lot about this and even driving uh, up the economy as well. Yeah. So the thing is, you could talk about personal growth and you can talk about professional growth, right, as an individual, but yeah. then also as your entity, as your organization. And I like to say... Um, organization, not necessarily business, because it, you could be a nonprofit, right? It could be the, the, the connection you just, you just made today. So they are also looking for innovation to drive growth. And I would say for me, it, it goes right back to those three circles. So you have one circle that's the comfort. That's the comfortable thing. Whatever yeah. we're doing, whether it's personally, right? If, if it's a uh, the way that I, that I do my exercise, right? I do exercise using uh, weights and I do exercise using my bicycle or something. So it's my comfortable way. And I will keep doing that and I'll be the same. Same with an organization. Maybe uh, we are comfortable doing the same, the, making the, the, a certain product that in, in consulting speak, they would call like a cash cow, right? The thing that we're, we know, we're good at doing this. We can be the cost leader or we can be the the market leader in this thing but doing the same thing it's a comfortable thing it's in that first circle the comfort but you got to to get outside the comfort zone means doing something different doing something innovative is going to be uncomfortable because it's outside the comfort but it's in what we call the growth zone and that's where you grow all growth comes from doing things differently, doing things that require, require more work usually, right? It's much more comfortable to sit on the couch than it is to do a new kind of exercise program. The same thing it is for any organization. What are we already doing versus what we could be doing differently? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Andrew. So uh, uh, it's you know, very good that uh, you raise up all this and uh, get people to understand how we can make things better in terms of personal life. And even we use innovation in, uh, you know, trying to innovate our process, our product, or even, you know, we ch uh, change the business model. You know, in yeah. like in current yes. uh, digital age that you see a lot of change. Some yes. are incremental disruptor, some are in, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, some are very uh, uh, disruptive innovator, then they, it, it's, it's really uh, changing the, the industry and, yes. see, and even creating new industry. So different. new, right. And, and I like, I like the, so like another difference between innovation, let's go back just briefly on that innovation yeah. versus invention. So we are both wearing glasses right now, right? Yes. I use them for reading, right? <laughs> right? So yeah. th these were invented, the glasses I wear, I, I think even Benjamin Franklin used to wear an eyepiece, less like 1750s or eight, you know, right? Yes. This is hundred years ago, but look yeah. at these things. I mean, this is thin optics. <laughs> yeah. These things are so thin and they fit ah. on the back of my oh, iPhone. Really? You know, yeah. be, every time I'm, I'm with somebody at a restaurant and yeah. we're just talking and then, the menu comes and, and the next thing I know, I'm like, yeah. they say, how did you oh. do that? Is that magic? How did you, where did, where did those glasses come from? Well, it was yeah. an innovation, an innovation yeah. from a That's company, right. right? And they use an innovative way of marketing. This was from a Facebook ad. Now, why mm -hmm. would I even come across that ad? Because I love communicating with you. We use Facebook Messenger. I go into yeah. Facebook and suddenly I see an advertisement for these things. Uh, That's an innovation. Cool. Yeah.